Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, just about one o'clock in Honolulu, seven o'clock in New York. It is Tuesday, 15th day of September, 2020, and this is uh, the daily report for gold and silver. The FOMC meeting for some September began today. It will conclude tomorrow. And that's when traders and market participants will be able to read the statement and most importantly, listen to the press conference by Jerome Powell. We are expecting more of the same or a carryover from his keynote speech at the virtual symposium, but anything is possible. Let's take a look at current pricing. Traders, today is truly a historic day with the Federal Reserve convening for the September FOMC meeting. Jerome Powell has not made a statement since the virtual economic symposium last month in which he announced a major revamp of the monetary policy that the Federal Reserve uses for their dual mandate. It is for that reason, I believe, that we're seeing very muted and quiet action in the precious metals, specifically gold and silver. We're looking at December gold. It was up in the early morning part of the session by about $2, but is currently trading off by about $1.80, 1961.90. We did send out a trade alert this morning to raise stops. The reason that we did that is in case something unforeseen happens during the conclusion of the FOMC meeting tomorrow. So currently we're at 61.90 and that's down $1.80. When we look at silver, silver also was muted. The net change was 1 cent, 27.34 and a half cents. And the dollar was very muted. In essence, also unchanged, 93.1. The other things we are looking at is GLD. That was down about a quarter percent at 183.45. SLV, that was down also about a quarter percent at 25.23. And Nugget did have a small gain today, 0.05% at 102.18. Let's take a look at our technical studies. Traders' first chart is a daily chart, continuous contract of gold. We can see today's activity as a single candle here. We are recording this after 12 noon in Hawaii, which means Australia has just opened up. We're currently at 1962.80. And what is important to me, what stands out more than anything else is the high of the day that came in at about $85. Now you can see I put a dashed line across it so that we can look to see if there's any corresponding areas. In other words, is this a key level or a critical area? And the only thing that I do see right here are these series of highs that came in about a week and a half ago right here. And that shows me that there is potential for resistance. We can see that in this one area, this one candle, it acted as support, but what I am trying to say is, although we can see historical data that this has some significance, I don't think it's that important of a price point. I think the important price point is still $2,000 per ounce because that is the key number we need to see gold trade to and close above so that we can say that the former level of support at $1,920 per ounce is now a level of support that has been surpassed at 2000. In other words, if we're going to see gold continue to rise, and I believe that it will, we need to see a break above $2,000 on a closing basis. But first, our next level that we have to overcome is 1985. This next chart we're looking at is a variation off of the last chart that we've just looked at. Although what I've done is I have added additional levels of resistance. We still have this area at 2000, but let's assume that it does in fact trade and close above 2000. The next level we would then look at would be about 2023 and that corresponds to this top here. We then have this top right here, which comes in at about 2060, and the brass ring is the new record high at $2,088 per ounce. I'm still looking at major support 
at 1920 and 1940 also is, I believe, a pretty strong level of support because we have not seen the market breach that particular price point over the last five trading days. The last gold chart that we're going to look at on today's show is a short-term 120-minute candlestick chart. Each candlestick represents simply two hours of trading. And what is important to me and noteworthy on this particular chart is what we can look at is recent activity and the series of higher lows that have come in. We have had a series of higher highs that have also come in. So on a very short-term basis, meaning since approximately the 8th of the month, that's right here. We have seen a key reversal in the market from having this flat bottom here to beginning to move back up. You can also see how important 2000 is and 2022 when we look at the short-term charts. We did send out a trade alert raising stops on Futures and Forex Gold as well as Silver, we're maintaining our current stops on our electronically traded funds. Those numbers are available in the members page under the proper action section. So please take a look at that section. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow on Fed Day. Have a great day. Bye-bye.